Hi, this is Victoria, Kick to the Curve Productions. I'm gonna talk about respect, but first I'm gonna do a little rap. Emotions run deep and my soul runs dry. All I do is sit and cry. Waiting for the day and I can't stay still. Ecstasy is it for me, but I need a fantasy pill. What is real? Cause the world is fake. Risking everything for it all and I'm left at the stake. Burning, burning, I'm burning away. The time has come and things have changed. I'm too low to the ground and everything is out of my range. Hidden rage, caged inside. Anger's exploded when my thoughts collide. All we have is faith, no time to rest in the end. We must do our best, this life is a test. We can't pass gas in it in. I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> that was my little rap. I have to follow it off because I am going to do a segment about respect and how I feel about it and what has helped me along my way. People say journey, but I need to come up with something more original than journey. It's way overused. The way... I'm still trying to figure out the camera work. Nobody helps me with the camera, so I have to guess with it myself. Um, my chapstick. <laughs> Keep chapstick on me at all times. <laughs> anyway, when you want to get respect, you need to make sure that you make good eye contact. Eye contact is everything when, you, when you're talking about respect. I recently had a problem with somebody, and I decided to practice what I preach and I what I know to be true and I uh, practice eye contact. You just stare, saying if somebody's down here and you're trying to talk to them and try to gain their respect. Kind of like, this is a power pose. You got your shoulders back, your head down, and make eye contact like this. If somebody's really getting crazy, make eye contact like this. Me mug them if you need to. Anyway, if you make eye contact, it makes people um, respect you. I've noticed that. Like, simplest thing is eye contact equals respect. Um, if people still don't respect you after you make eye contact, talk in a calm voice, state what your problem is, and in a calm manner. You can, if you want to gain anyone's respect. You can't sit down like a, a little wuss and cry. You cannot cry when you're trying to earn respect because crying equals weak. It's all right to cry with your closest friends and everything, but when you're trying to be professional and get a point across, crying will get you absolutely nowhere. It's not, it's not a good thing to do. Another way to earn respect is to help people. When you help people, you're letting them, you're showing them that you think that they're valuable enough to be helped. You know, I notice when I'm at work, if one of my friends that I work with needs help, I'll help them. I'll go out of my way to do it because I know they'll do it for me. When you give respect, you get it most of the time. People say, I'm not going to respect her till she respects me. You have to be the first one. Nobody's going to give you anything. You have to go out there and get it yourself. If you want respect, you have to earn it. And that takes a long time. With me, I always respect people until I'm given a reason not to respect them. So, if somebody's rude to me, I am... Sometimes, if I'm feeling in a good mood, I'm not rude back. But most of the time, oh, I let them know they made me mad. I always try to get my feelings out before they fester up it inside me. And that's another another thing, like, um, always state how you feel in a clear manner. Think about this situation. Jenny needs time off work because she wants to go on a vacation. So she goes to her boss and she's like, hi, um, I need some time off for my upcoming vacation and no you can't have it we have to you cannot go on vacation the boss would say why do you think she said that or he said that because you didn't state yourself in an authoritative way you have to be authoritative with yourself 
You need to govern yourself. We wouldn't need a government if everybody can govern themselves in a proper way. That is the truth of the matter. That is a fact. So Jenny should have went to her boss and said, Hi, um, I, am, I need to take this off for my family vacation, and I will be back this time from this time. Um, I'm letting you know I'm going on vacation. You let people know what's up. Don't leave any room for interpretation from nobody. You need to be precise in what you say and say what you mean. If you want to say yes to something, say yes. If you want to say no, say no. There are so many times you're wishing in your heart, I don't really want to do this. I don't want to go there. But man, I... and you say yes and then you end up hoeing out or not going because... You don't want to do it in the first place. And guess who's guilty about that? Me. I'm a big, big time. I shouldn't even talk about it, but I'm practicing what I preach now because I'm into the whole spiritualism. I'm into a branch of spiritualism to where I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, I can't deny his existence. I don't want to deny God's existence. There's no way that this earth was made on its own. There may be science behind what God did. Of course, there's always a, there's a method to the madness. What is this earth but not mad? It's crazy. It's a crazy world. It's learning on how to, the beauty in the world is learning how to strive in it. And, and knowing that you're mortal. And this life is but a test. I truly believe that and I believe that with the outer body experiences and I'll talk more about that in a later time that I have and all the signs I have gotten from God he gave people these gifts it's not, nothing demonic about it read your Bible do your research before you judge people and my newfound spiritualism has Pulled me out of some very dark places and it helped me respect myself so I can pass along and show people other people how to get respect because I tell you I see a lot of people who don't meet make eye contact you can tell they don't love themselves it's sad you're an eternal being you are a beacon of light we are all made out of the stuff of stars Think about that. All the things that are found in stars in the sky were made of the same matter. Have a blessed night and let your thoughts and your mind go. And remember, make eye contact for respect.